So we have a new Master Duel ban list and let's go over it, see how this shakes up the Master Duel meta. If you still need a beautiful playmat or deck box, you can go to zerodamagegaming.com, check out these beautiful new designs and you can use the code SOLEM for a discount. There's also Black Friday discounts going on. So right here, first of all, we have Zodiac Dryden to 3. Personally, I don't think this really matters. Like the decks that really are good because of Dryden could already play it at 1 and it didn't really come up more than that, I believe. Some decks even like could run it but no longer did. I mean, obviously the card is crazy but maybe zodiacs are fine now hot steak <laughs> this seems like not much now we have liralusk cobalt sparrow to three i don't really think this matters i think liralusk got power creeped hard and of course like the cards that made the end board so crazy back then are still banned like the the link so overall i think it's kind of whatever now semi-limited we have Signet mining so any cybers deck feels a little more sad right now uh, the math make type deal all those types of piles that then end up making like circular into everything then we have tempest dragon ruler of storm so they're really trying to gradually bring back the dragon rulers and i think they will gradually realize that they're just power creeped and old <laughs> this won't change anything in my opinion i think the only ones that might have a shot of having impact is you know the earth and the water and even then i'm not sure so bring tempest and inferno to three for all i care i don't think it's gonna matter then we have pot of desires from three to two so this is the same as the tcg and also the OCG. So this is, I guess, a light hit to cash because I don't really know any other decks that were trying to max this card out for their consistency. And honestly, cash already had major consistency issues, even if you were playing this card in Pathfinder. So I, I don't know. I guess I guess it's fine. I don't think it was that necessary. Of course, the card is crazy though. Then we have Quick Launch. So Quick Launch right here, going from three to two. So this is a hit to Dragon Link. And as you can see right here, Chaos Space from three to two. So they're really trying to hit the best decks right now. It's pretty obvious obvious like they're hitting dragon link and they also hit oh that's coming we'll get to that now if you check out the tcg we actually saw chaos space go to one there as well and like obviously that is not fun for dragon link but it's still a viable deck like dragon link is one of those decks that has so many tools available to it that you can start hitting cards like gently one by one but as long as i don't know as long as a dragon is legal <laughs> there will be a dragon link deck honestly it's so crazy yeah this is fine you know they'll feel a bit weaker and that's probably fair given that they are quite quite insane right now i feel like new decks like vanquish soul don't even get a shot of you know competing at the highest level just because some of these older decks you know were never hit so this is fine from three to two from three to two i don't think you will matter this too much just yet but as we know with master duel when they notice a certain deck stays good they will like chip away at it they will not stop <laughs> i think how many how many ban lists did tier get well it's seven eight just like chip chip until there's nothing left now i don't think that will happen to dragon link i think like even if Dragon Link now stays one of the best decks, I think after one or two more lists, it's probably inconsistent enough. But yeah, Tear took a while. <laughs> Next, we have the biggest hits right here. We have a early from three to two now on one hand this might seem like not much because you're like whatever they can just summon them from deck and they can recycle them with a trap you do have to realize that this kind of hit does hurt because getting normal summon pearly makes you way more able to break a board because your opponent never knows how they need to interact with it like you go normal summon pearly do you use a powerful negate and destroy on that and then they just go activate a memory lamao tanks or do you just negate that effect with something like apalooza and then they still have the body and it can still exceed or do you imperm it and then they can still like link with it or make a fuko coco or something and exceed summon that way or maybe even an anima but if you let it go true and they hit now suddenly they went massive plus and if they then go activate pearly effect to try and exceed it could randomly be a beauty that breaks half your board so pearly is like a very scary card they could also go like a pearly activate effect they make a happy you're like okay whatever they activate street oh now you can't even target a happy anymore so the fact that they will now less often play into a board with a pearly matters and also the fact that they can now going first normal summon pearly less often meaning you don't get jump scared into a sudden delicious heart made or something like that i do think this matters it also like kind of messes with their grind if they didn't use the trap to make noir they will actually not like this hit i'm not saying this by itself of course you know it makes the deck not the best deck anymore but it is painful more painful than some might realize now we have pearly delicious memory from 3 to 2. This is also a very big hit. Now, why is this such a big hit? Basically, the best part about Pearly is that when you activate a continuous spell, my friend, you can always name any card. And if it's not in your hand yet, you're gonna get a copy. You just go, I show you a delicious, I show you a delicious, I show you a delicious. Oh, I randomly get a delicious. 
now you will sometimes show a delicious, you know, you will have chosen a line of play to rely on that delicious and now suddenly you showed like delicious delicious pretty memory or something and you will get a pretty memory and boom your turn fell apart so when this happened actually in the tcg and they well it actually went to one instead of two the deck got a fair hit you know you could no longer my friend into delicious reliably and that way you weren't turn one noiring reliably and the deck just got way worse now i think at two it's fine enough i think you will still be able to pl maybe play more of the trap just in case and another thing that people might might not realize is that in the TCG Pearly after this hit was actually still secretly a really good deck. It's just that it had to be played going second. So we might eventually see something like that as well if they hit Pearly harder or if th or if this you know change happens to be more powerful than I think right now then they might end up pivoting to a blind second strategy which can still go first by the way you know it's just that sometimes your board will not be as good as the as the big noir. But overall I think you know Pearly will still be very good. It's probably still the best deck but it will be a fair bit weaker and then we have stovey torby from three to two uh, so that's a hit to labyrinth but not a very big one of course like you want to max out your furniture but like you can always replace the furniture with with another trap and it is only one i i don't think this really matters especially because like with still five furnitures that set you, the odds of you opening them are pretty good still i think the difference between six and five is not big enough so that's fine i'm not saying labyrinth had to be hit way harder i don't think it's like the best deck or anything but you know this hit isn't that strong I, did, I do think Pearly got hit harder. Cards to be limited. Runic Fountain from 2 to 1. I have not seen Runic do much. I guess in the in the world's qualification thing, it did have a showing, you know, with a stun variant. So maybe that's why. And then we also have Mad Mech Diameter from 3 to 1. Oh, well, that's a heavy Mad Mech hit. It's different from the TCG. You know, in TCG, we saw Circular being hit. Diameter, that's an interesting one. I don't play a whole lot of Mad Mech. So if people in the comments want to tell me how much this hurt, I I imagine it does hurt though this this seems pretty tough so yeah these are the changes this is the total change again thanks to master dual meta for uh for the website it's always very solid to look at i think they kind of like slightly made pearly worse and slightly made dragon link worse and then some hits that like they, they hurt for some decks but they won't majorly change the meta if we look at the tier list right here according to master dual meta now of course don't just blind look at this tier list and go oh this is it you know this also depends on how much people People are playing certain decks this also depends on you know oh we had a tournament and a lot of people brought vanquish soul because it's the new cards maybe it did better that way so like don't look at this and go oh this is the meta but it's going to be a, a decent indication you know if your deck is a tier 65 not that they have one but if your deck is tier 65 it's probably not a tier one secretly and if your deck is in tier one here it's probably not a tier 65 secretly but this is just solid to look at so pearly as the best deck and dragon link as the best deck the fact that they hit these uh, make Makes sense then you know and they're also a fair bit better than the others i feel i also made my top five best decks videos the other day as you could see i also placed these are uh, very very high now vanquish soul here as a third i do find that surprising i did say in my uh reveal video for the cards that because of the fire guy that we ended up getting this could probably break the top five but in third place is interesting you know i i thought it would probably be a bit worse than labyrinth still that was my my personal opinion i thought it would probably be like pearly dragon link lab and then maybe Vanquish Soul. But it turns out, according to this, again, the data isn't perfect, but it's still useful to learn from. I thought it would be like place five or so. But okay, interesting to know. And then Despia Mathmic actually quite high as well, thanks to the new cyber support. Rip and Pepperoni, that dream with that new hit, I assume. Like Silent Mining hit hurts. Um, diameter, I think, hurts, but I'm not super sure. And then Cash Tira right here. So Cash saw a slight hit, Slap saw a slight hit, and D saw uh, also a slight hit, but not as slight. So yeah, what do you think? personally i think this list doesn't change <laughs> like i mean the, these can move around a little i do think like labyrinth is should be a bit higher up i think vanquish soul maybe right after labyrinth i think mad Meg maybe moves down a little bit i think kashtira shouldn't even be that high <laughs> but that is all for today hope you found it interesting be sure to like comment subscribe again if you still need a beautiful playmat or deck box go to zerodamagegaming.com and use a good solemn for a discount and i will see you soon champ